got that section loosened. Now I need to attach two pipes in here. Hmm. That looks like it fit pretty good. Uh, I'm starting to have a thought. I know it happens once in a while. So this is going to have a tube that goes up inside. There's going to be a motor at the top and a bearing. And down at this end, I need some kind of bearing too. And... Alright. The way I think would be the best way to make the bearing is have the tube actually come through the hull and stick out. Part way, anyway. Then I can make a plastic bearing in there. And since the tube will stick out past, I can have some inlet holes for water that will run through the plastic bearing so it won't overheat, so it will have water going through it. That's going to be harder to do if, the, if I have the tube just up inside. So I might just make this half of the, the hull just, as, just like normal, then drill the holes, put the pipes in, and then I'm going to have to fiberglass them in after the fact which will be significantly harder but it solves the bearing issue at the bottom all right so that means this is nothing i'll do something with it i don't know i'm not sure if it works super well as a hat i think i might have to keep looking for things i can do with this all right there got the rest of this pontoon finished I think this is one of those cases where, you know, I kind of saw a problem and then I was like, well, let me fix that. But it created more problems that were bigger. So a lot of times just the most obvious thing is totally the thing to do. It rained all day yesterday and this thing looks like it holds water. So that's a good sign. Grab onto. The thing I'm concerned most about here is just where the two halves connect. Like, I want this to be flush so as the water comes by, it just runs right past. And it looks like I nailed it. Yeah. There's a little bit of a bump here where the seam is, but I'll sand that up. Overall, yeah, lined up really well. This back part came out really good too. So it's probably gonna get cut off somewhere around here. The water line will be down here somewhere. And it just gives a nice vertical surface where I'll be able to make some kind of hingy thing and have a rudder come come off here hopefully I can come up with an idea that makes it so the rudder kind of lines up with this edge so it can stay really streamlined shouldn't be that hard to figure out right, All right I guess next operation is trim this top edge Sheesh, my workshop is so packed right now somewhere back here I've got some Thingies. Let's see. I don't want to wreck my good ones. 
That's the ones. These are my oldest ones, and they're in rough shape. But they work on the fiberglass. I do really like the looks of this. I think in reality this curves a little bit more than in the picture. Let me see what happens if I just hold a ruler at the top edge and see what it looks. Yeah. And I need a wide angle lens to do this. Alright, so if I cut that like right like that. Oh, that's that's actually really good. Yeah, that totally leaves enough on the front and the back. And at the front, I probably still want to aim it down a little bit. And at the back, too. Yeah. really see on the camera screen but I think the line's showing up right about there I think that looks good and it comes down low enough in the front here I probably won't angle it I'll just leave it straight like that yeah I like it and then at the back this is supposed to come up to where the chair is like the backrest and the motor will kind of be up there somewhere so I shouldn't cut all that off yet. I need to make a new line coming up. This is about where my butt will go. And that pipe is the width of the pedal boat butt area, which is about as skinny as I'd want it to be. I have to press this out a little bit, but I think it's, I think it's all right. Oh, it looks so fast. This isn't really there, that's just propped up there. Because this is going to have a piece that comes up and then goes down to where the, the chair is, right about there. I checked, my butt fits in here. I guess I shouldn't do this part up here until I get the pipes in. Alright, I did some measurements on my pedal boat to figure out good spacing between the pedals, which go right there. There's a little circle, I don't know if you can see it. And then the chair, which is right here. So I'll fit in there good. And there's still space in the front for a couple people to sit and then, you know, a cargo zone in the front. And then back here, there's the line. Hopefully the camera can see the line there and the one here for where I want to put the pipes. The pedal pipe I'm going to make thinner than the motor pipe because the pedal one's not going to have as much power as the the motor one. The motor one is going to be a hollow one inch diameter tube and the pedal one I think I'll do a half inch so I can use a smaller tube here and a bigger tube here. Alright this is not going to be the easiest cut
of stuff. I think I've got that lined up right where it needs to go. Yeah. Alright, now I need to get a piece of fiberglass on there before anything moves. Okay, I think I got that schlopped in there pretty good. The hardest part by far was under here. And I'm not sure if I got the fiberglass, you know, total coverage under there because it's such a deep, like, little cavern. So I just took a chunk of this and blobbed it up and put a bunch of resin in it and, like, stuffed it in there like a plug and then put a piece of paper, that piece of paper right there, and <laughs> just stuffed it in to make sure it's all sealed. So that should be good. And when that's hardened, I'll wrap this with fiberglass all the way up to you know, wherever it needs to go. I guess I'll need it to, need to support it at this end at some point. I'll worry about that later. And now I have to do the other pipe, which is back there, the fatter pipe. But basically the same process. Ah, it looks like a whale. It's too bad I'm, this isn't going to stay there. Or I could put an eyeball up here and just make it a whale. Anyway. All right, got both tubes in. That is great, because that's the technically hardest fiberglassing part of the whole boat. Oh, nice work. It looks like they pretty much line up with my lines there that I drew. Uh, you can't tell because I'm not right beside it, but yeah, when you look straight from the side, that lines up right with my lines. And the same with that one up there. Excellent. All right, totally solid. Both pipes get cut off a, just a little bit down from the, the level of the top there. So to get leaks through these pipes, the water level will have to come all the way up to here. But at that point, I'm probably sinking the boat anyway, so I should be fine. Because the water level will always be down here somewhere. Man, I'm really happy with that. That came out so good.